Hi guys and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Now, thank you very much to you for commenting on the YouTube channel as you were asking me how does Roblox work with the Pico Neo 3 Link. So shout out to you. Well, this is what we're going to find out today. As you can see, I have the Pico Neo 3 Link right here on my face and we will be using both the controllers of the Pico Neo 3 Link and also the Xbox S controller. Why are we gonna use the Xbox S controller? You're just gonna have to watch and wait to see what happens. And I'm also going to tell you how to actually use the controllers inside of Roblox 2 and give you my first impressions and feedback as this is also, we're gonna be doing this together. It was my first time reusing Roblox using a VR headset. There are a few hiccups here and there, so do watch out, guys. And I do want to mention that Roblox is meant more or less for those who are 8 to 13. So the Gen Z people, guys, not really meant for people of my age or people who are, you know, older than that, to be honest with you. And But, you know, if you are a company and you are trying to market some products to perhaps some of your, some parents or, you know, younger kind of people with the parents involved, then of course, Roblox is definitely a very good platform to market all your stuff. There are absolutely hundreds and hundreds of worlds there with thousands of people. It is accessible on PC, mobile, as well as VR. So very much accessible by a lot of different platforms. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's dive into VR. And first of all, let's go to Nightland. Okay guys so we are inside of Nightland in Roblox which is pretty awesome to be here using the HP G7 Fury ZenBook laptop of course now the graphics aren't too bad although there are some jagged edges here and there I need to admit it doesn't feel super super smooth inside of here but that is also because it will be dependent on the world that you're in the bigger the world the more items in the world the more people inside of the world then this will also affect, of course, the graphics. But in terms of my GPU, which is a Quadro, it should not affect because it is more powerful than an RTX 2070. Even though there are less cores, it is a 2.7 gigahertz laptop versus a 4.9 gigahertz laptop uh, desktop that I have unlocked. All right, so now there are some issues with the controllers you do need to get used to it so let me just you know show you how to use the controllers i have to say that the controllers work much better with the pico neo 3 link than they do with the hp reverb g2 just fyi and you should be able to stream this app also wirelessly without having to use a cable but roblox is not native inside of the pico neo 3 link at this moment in time so you either need a computer or a phone to access it without vr or with vr using a computer all right let me show you the controllers very quickly so all you have to do is click on the grab button to navigate the various different user interfaces so let's do that i click you'll see on the right hand side my little map here just little user interface options came up I tap again I have a entire screen, a different user interface that comes up. This is my settings. I tap again, everything goes away. So if I tap again, and then now I click on the A button or on the B button, it locks everything into place. And now I can actually interact with all the various different things. So for example, on world, and then on rewards, You'll see all the various different rewards based on the games that you play inside of the world that it will provide you because of course there are different mini games in different worlds and here in Nightland, you can play some football, soccer rewards. Let's close this, go back to worlds. We can go to map to see the actual map of where everything is and then we can just click on it and it will teleport us to all the various different areas inside of Nightland, which is pretty cool. So let's get rid of that. Tap on grab once more. And then if I click on the A button again, now we are, let's go to news first. There we go. So this is just some of the news of the actual world. So things that you could program inside of your own customized world, should you want to do your own customized world, of course. And then you can go to settings. Let me just close this. So this is where we can change various different settings. So first of all, let's go to graphics quality. Make sure it's on on high, although I don't seem to, oh, yes, there is low and there is high, so there you go. Building snap on, okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. There's kit also here, by the way. So I'm not quite sure what kit is. 
profile inventory shoes, okay? So we can build a profile. Oh, so this is a special profile for the actual world itself and not your Roblox profile. So this is different. Let's go back to world and then settings again. And it doesn't seem like I can choose, for example, a different microphone or something like that in order to talk with people inside. So I imagine that this will either be automatic maybe. We can do some testing of the microphone a little bit later on to make sure that people can actually hear us. Let me close this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to click on another button. So let me click on the A button again to release everything once more. And if you click on the um, Now there is another way to, if you hold the joystick and you press the joystick, you will be able to see yourself in a third person mode. Now to navigate uh, left and right, all you have to do is click, tap the joystick, the left joystick, left and right, not the right one. But if I go back inside and I tap the right one, then you will see that you can navigate yourself in VR mode and you can also navigate left and right like so, to go left, to go forward or backwards, it will be your left joystick and to look left or right, it will be your right joystick. So do remember that. And when you're inside a VR, you can only see one laser, not two lasers, FYI. All right, so let's navigate a little bit. Let's just go and look around. Let's check this out. Nightland, so the graphics inside of Roblox, you know, are very, very, very primitive, I would say. Nothing special here. Hey there, how are you? I'm not sure if he's here. So here's another mini game. So this is pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can jump. Can I jump? No. So we can dismount, of course, by holding the A button again to lock everything in position. And then there we go, we dismount and then we I forgot the jump button, uh, if there is a jump button. Let me check. There is no jumping as far as I know. So let's see if you can go up. No, can't go up. Unfortunately, there's no jumping inside of the Pico. Okay, so now we're inside of another world, which is Hello Kitty. And I just want to let you guys know that with the Pico Neo 3 Link, it could also occur with other VR headsets, just FYI, although I have not tested this with the HP Reverb G2 just yet, is the fact that if you don't have your controls on, but you have your Xbox S controller on, you will not be able to navigate either. So what you need to do is you need to have at least one controller powered on. There we go, so you can see it there. And then just put it down somewhere and now you'll be able to move around <laughs> with your Xbox S controller, which is very, very strange that that is what you need to do in order to be able to move around inside of VR. Uh, you can also see yourself there. So you can see that he's on a skateboard. You can see he's going much faster. Now every game have their own little mini games and things. So just press, there we go, I'm back inside of VR. So you can jump this time compared to earlier where I had mentioned that you cannot jump. Now, every time that you go into a new world, you may have to go to the settings. Uh, so click the settings is, you will need, it's difficult to navigate, to be honest with you, in Roblox. Very, very difficult. I cannot give you a tutorial as to how to navigate, but basically you will need the controller in order to navigate to your settings. So just do as same as earlier uh, by pressing the Y button and then you go to the settings. Here we go. Actually, go to the Roblox thing here. Okay, and then I have to use, so let me just use the controller again to block. There we go. Oh. And then I just click with the trigger there. For some reason it's not working this time. I need to press with the controller. Okay, so you see, it gets very, very complicated. I have to admit, and for some reason I cannot go into my Settings there. Let me just look straight so it blocks there. I cannot go inside. Maybe I need to press on the grab button. It's very possible. Let me just click again. No, it doesn't work with the grab. 
It was working with the um, Xbox S controller earlier, so let me just click again, see if anything works. No, it doesn't with the Xbox S controller, unfortunately. Okay, let me... No, nothing is working, so I need to power off the controller. So as you can see, I'm having, I'm having quite some difficulty here in terms of the issues with the controller. So I'm just waiting for the controller to power off. There we go, it's powered off. And now I will see the emblem on the headset again. I click on it, there we go. I go to settings and then I go to graphics. So graphics always turn off audio. Graphics quality always put to 10 because it will be much better in this respect, guys, just to let you know. And vignetting, I always take it off, to be honest with you. And then I exit. But in order to exit, I need the controller once again. I need to power on the controller this time. And there we go, I've exited. So you need to, if you want to access the settings and things, you need to basically keep powering on and off the actual controller. So this is the thing that I find most annoying. And now it seems that my controller, ah, oh, there we go, I'm back inside, there we go. So it took a while for the controllers to patch again inside of the Xbox S controller. So it is a little bit complicated, but it is very much possible to use VR with the Pico Neo 3 Link inside of Roblox. Now, Roblox, to be honest with you guys, is not meant for people of my age. It is meant for people who are between the ages of, you know, 8 and 13. It's very much for the Gen Z, uh, not for teenagers, you know, 13 and above, to be honest with you. Um, however, you know, companies who want to market their products for some strange reason in brainwashing kids, or perhaps the kids' parents, let's say, then, you know, they can definitely use Roblox in order to navigate and go into various different worlds and play different things. For sure, let's jump inside the water. There we go. Or perhaps, you know, if you are... There, there is no way to use the microphone, as far as I know, inside of Roblox. Please leave a comment below and let me know whether it is possible to use a microphone, but I have not found a way to use the microphone just yet. So there you go, this is the Hello Kitty world, guys. As you can see, very colorful, very pink. Let's go ahead and test the, whoop, let's test the water slide over there. But I have to admit that being able to jump inside of Roblox makes it very much, much, much easier. But I'm not quite sure why, you know, Roblox, considering that it's supposed to be a metaverse platform, um, you know, ooh, down the slide, uh, you know, and they're a listed company, why it is that they make it so hard for VR manufacturers to be able to use their hardware inside of it because it just makes no freaking sense to me. Um, although maybe for predator reasons or things like that, then it would definitely make a lot of sense to me. Um, but other than that, you know, it is possible to connect to VR headset as I just shown, just not very useful in terms of navigation. It does make things a bit complicated when you want to go to your settings or you want to change certain things.